Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. It's Super Bowl weekend and a couple of attractions reopened today. So I decided to come out and just have a wonderful Magic Kingdom day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Good start to the day is getting greeted by Eeyore. Hi friend. As I said earlier, some attractions and experiences reopened today, including the Liberty Bell. I'm so excited I haven't rode that in such a long time. And I said once it reopens, I plan on coming out here and going for a spin. I think it's such a fun ride. And like I said before, it is Super Bowl weekend. The Super Bowl is this Sunday, and we got Tampa Bay versus the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm excited to see what the outcome's gonna be. Let me know who you're rooting for in the comments. But I did get some bad news. You know that iconic phrase where they actually say, you just won the Super Bowl, what are you gonna do next? And then they say, I'm going to Disney World or I'm going to Disneyland. Well, it was announced that they're not gonna actually come here and do their Super Bowl parade. Now, they still might say that, but I don't think there will be any parade. And that makes me a little sad because that was gonna be my first big year that I was able to come here and catch it and make it happen. And I would have been so excited. But, I mean, there are a lot of things going on right now. So, safety first. Fun fact though, the first time that was said was after the 1987 Super Bowl by Phil Simms, the New York Giants quarterback. They asked, you just won the Super Bowl, what do you plan on doing next? And he said, I'm going to Disney World. And that was actually a Disney commercial. Pretty interesting, I looked that up just so I could find out. But now I'm heading straight to the Liberty Bell. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to ride this since they put the water back in. And now is the time, I can hear it. There it is, it's coming in. As you're waiting, they have these little circle dots, just like pretty much everywhere where you actually stand and you just wait. So you just kind of socially distance by getting a spot and staying in there. You find a spot and that's gonna be your designated spot. So I'll go right here, the front of the boat. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I love it so much, isn't it so beautiful? And I'll stand the whole entire time, but there are seats here, but I'd rather just kind of be right here, right at the center, kind of like Jack from Titanic or Rose, because technically Jack's behind Rose. And I'll feel the wind against my face. We'll do this. <laughs> oh, it looks like we have a cavalcade coming down. It'd be nice to see a cavalcade from here. Honestly, I think this is the first time I'm riding Liberty Bill since the parks reopened. Oh, I see Mickey right there. Look at him, he's actually interacting with the country bears. What spot do you guys usually prefer? Do you like being on the first level, the second, or going all the way up to the top? It's a tough one. Because then when you're up the top, you get a better view of things, but I don't know, I just, like I said, I like being down here. It's really nice because you can see everything straight in front of you. Get a wide open view. Uh-oh, I think we're leaving. <laughs> Goodbye! I'll never forget you! <laughs> Look at this, isn't it beautiful? Looks like Tom Sawyer Island is open now too. Splash Mountain is straight ahead. I haven't seen anyone take that 50 foot plunge yet though. Maybe it's just closed for the moment, but I'm keeping an eye out. I love this angle of Haunted Mansion that we're gonna get right here. It blends in so amazingly, doesn't it? But right there, that's the Haunted Mansion. And it's kind of cool because you got Rapunzel's Tower right next to it. And it actually looks like it fits in with the Haunted Mansion, doesn't it? And then on this side, you get this amazing shot of Big Thunder Mountain. Alligator Swamp here. And maybe we've got Ginger over there. Oh, there's Ginger. Careful, Ginger snaps. It is relatable to like the People Mover and the Walt Disney World Railroad, 
those are some of my favorite attractions is where you can just sit back, relax, and it takes a little time for you to actually make your full journey. What is in the water right there though? Does that say danger? Danger! And a lot of people don't even know that there's some animatronics back here. Look at the horse. One thing I think is important to point out is if you're actually out all the way here, you really can't hear anybody talking. So they usually have like a track that's playing and actually describing what's happening around you. So if you're actually within the boat and the speakers, you can hear it a lot better. But take a look at the view we get right here as we come straight on into the castle. <laughs> Hello friends! <laughs> so I seen my friends Katie, Spencer, and Dylan actually up there waiting to come on. So I'm gonna ask if I can actually just stay aboard because my friends and maybe I'll just ride with them, but only if they'll let me. I don't know if that's a possibility or not. We come back here and look at this. The inner workings of the Liberty Bell. It's so interesting, isn't it? Unbelievable. That was so nice, they let me stay on for another ride. So I came up to the top level, because maybe they would like to do it from up here. This is like the most popular area, and we get a look at the captain's quarters right here. How awesome is that? So they're going around cleaning and resetting, and take a look at this. It says crew only though, but I like it. It's so awesome. I wanna be inside there. You can actually take a look inside too. Let me see. Wow, that is amazing. There's the captain, and like I said, we uh, joined up with our friends who were sitting on the outside, Best Life and Beyond. It's good to see you. Yeah, so excited. They were actually uh, waiting, and I was waving to them. I was waving to you guys. I was like, hello, I'll never forget you. That was so funny. <laughs> hello. So uh, they let me stay on so I can ride and hang out with them and then we have some other friends theme park obsession who are back there and uh, It's just nice to go for another spin especially at the top It's their first time riding this here at Walt Disney World. They're used to riding in Disneyland and they mainly are Disneyland vloggers and they're actually over here just uh, you know enjoying their time because Disneyland's closed but the boat ride at Disneyland is actually a shorter version because they had to make room for Galaxy's Edge, which is in the Magic Kingdom. I think I'm changing my perspective and saying I like it from the top better. I feel like this, I feel like, my, oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine heading my way. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Oh yeah, she's got it. Hey. That is crazy. Look at that. out here this is where they'll most likely be oh boy river pirates here all right i'm officially sold being up on the top is definitely best wow it's so amazing you get much better views you can actually hear the uh radio or like the dialogue a little bit better up here but you also get to hear the steam and then you get to like look down and see that it's amazing in the back of the boat, Dylan, theme park obsession. How's it going? And you also, this is your first time on this one? Yeah, I've never been on this before. Only man. Disneyland, right? No, only Disneyland, so this is really cool. This is a new experience for I me. I know. Does Disneyland have a view of Haunted Mansion like that? No, we have a slightly different view. This view is pretty darn nice. 
Look at that, isn't it amazing? You get a little bit of a behind the scenes action right there, and it looks like Rapunzel's tower is a oh, part of the Haunted Mansion. I really love this tree though. Man. Like, I love that. Yeah. Oh. And now we're returning back. So beautiful. That was so much fun to ride the Liberty Bell again. And it was nice to run into some friends and I think we're gonna head on over and maybe get a Dole Whip. Since we're in the area, oh, I can feel the Adventureland music coming alive. Instead of getting the traditional Dole Whip, I think I'm gonna get the Kakamura Dole Whip and that's actually with coconut sauce serve. And I've never had it before, but my friend Dylan said that he's had it and he liked it. It was kind of like a pina colada. So I'm gonna live a little dangerously, just a little bit. My buddy Parker, whose birthday is today, ended up getting the Kakamura uh, Dole Whip. I got the same one, I'm excited. Are you excited to try it? Yeah? Do you like Dole Whips? Uh, not really. No. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe you might like the Kakamura one, though. You never know. There you go. Happy birthday. Put it in your purse. Put it in your purse. The way you line up to get a Dole Whip is kind of like a little bit difficult, but it's a little bit easy. It just seems a little out of place, but when you actually look at it, it's a really good system. Most of the people that are waiting around place their order already and they're just waiting to get assigned to register once your order is ready it'll tell you to just proceed to you know mobile order pickup spot number three and then they have a line for each one of them so it makes it really easy uh morrow pg mr morrow kakamura yep that's your time how fancy is that right <laughs> paging mr morrow order please <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at this fanciness. You got the same one? Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> got a nice little spot right over here. I'm excited to try this. We have a little cake pop right there, and then the coconut soft serve with pineapple and blue carousel, too. Very exciting. I am excited for this. That is good. Holy moly. Oh, wow. Oh my lord, that is really good. I really, really like it. I'm gonna just stick my <laughs> actual spoon down in there to get some more of the pineapple juice. Oh boy, and then we're gonna go for the cake pop. Now everything's starting to rise up to the top. Look at this. What an amazing mixture. Oh, so good. Look at us, isn't this cool? Hanging out Frontierland, eating some Dole Whips. We got bubbles blowing in here. It's purely magic. Yeah, the weather is beautiful. The birds are chirping. Couldn't ask for a better life. <laughs> yeah, this is like it. This is it. This is life. This is life. <laughs> I have to say the Kakamora might be my new favorite Dole Whip. That was so good, honestly. And plus you got the cake pop. The cake pop was delicious. I don't know, I think that's, that's a front runner. That's literally one of the best. As we're sitting here, a cavalcade's coming, but Wendell's up there doing some crazy things and I kind of want to highlight him. how excited he was getting with Winnie the Pooh. That was so awesome. I'm so happy I caught that on camera. Like he was going crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna actually start making my way out of the park, but we have to say bye to our friends. Theme Park Obsession, Best Life and Beyond. They're gonna head on over to Tom Sawyer Island and they're gonna explore a little bit, but I don't have time for that today. Maybe another day. Yeah, I'll be back, I'll be back. And we'll hang out again. We'll all hang out. I'm excited. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll page you. Yeah, page me. Yeah, 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 just page me. You're good, you. You're good. 
that was a lot of fun to hang out with Katie, Spencer, and Dylan. They're gonna continue on, but I have things that I need to do today. So I'm gonna be making my way back on out to the Central Hub area, but it was so fun. I mean, Liberty Bell, Dole Whips, can't go wrong. Look how beautiful it is out right now, though. This is such a beautiful Magic Kingdom day. We've been having some very cold days recently, but today it just all changed. Like this is, this is perfect weather right now. It's a lot of fun to walk behind the Princess Cavalcade because now I feel like I'm like in a royal family. Like as I'm walking towards the music, I do want to dive into the Aporium. Not sure if you know, but they actually started doing 30% off discounts for annual pass holders and Disney Vacation Club members. So I'm excited to see what I can get with that little extra bonus. Here is some of the new Baby Yoda merchandise. I love that they have that like zipper up hoodie there. And then the long sleeve shirt is pretty nice. And then right on the side, some Valentine's Day merchandise. We've got a mug, a hat, and even some ears over there. But I don't know if those are the Valentine's Day ears. Oh wow, those are very pretty though. I've been actually looking for this special pair of pajama bottoms. They're Dalmatian pajama bottoms and they're red and they have, I think, Pogo on all of them. It's either Pogo or Rolly, I'm not sure. But I would love to find them, but they're actually hard to track down. I see they have the Dalmatian ears, but I'm not seeing the pajama bottoms anywhere. I think this is mostly ladies apparel. These were just, I think, just regular old pajama bottoms. So I don't think it's a part of this line. I think it's something different. But take a look at the Lady and Tramp spirit jerseys for the, the dogs. I love this. I should get Gracie one of these. Oh, but she hates when I dress her up. She really doesn't like it. Maybe I'll hop on over to the confectionery. Wouldn't mind getting some good foods to take home. Little treats for later, you know? It's always a long line to actually come into the confectionery, but it's so fun and it smells so amazing in here. So I think we're gonna get in line because I want to see what's in the case over here. Take a look at all those delicious treats. Hi! How can I help? Oh, I don't know. I'm hungry. I'm trying to think what to get. That's a lot. That's a that's a lot lot. I was thinking Rice Krispie treat. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I had this one. This is like a. The cookies and cream. Oh, that's a cookies and cream. I had the pecan one. I oh, never yeah, had the cookies. Cookies and cream now. I'll take one of those to go. Okay. Yep. Sold. <laughs> Look at that. It's like literally our Rice Krispie treat pie. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> My intentions are to actually wait and actually have this at home later on for a dessert. But I'm really tempted to just open it up and take a bite to let you know how it tastes. I mean, it was really exciting because I didn't even know last time I was in there it was like a pecan one. That was phenomenal. But I didn't know they switched it up. So maybe just like one little bite. One, it, it won't hurt. Just one, one little bite. It won't hurt. But look at that. A cookies and cream Rice Krispie treat pie. This is going to be so good. Just a little nibble here. It is so good, wow. You taste the Oreo and then you taste Rice Krispie Treat. Do you know what that's like to have? To have an Oreo taste and then a Rice Krispie Treat? I love it, that is so good, so good. But with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and we're gonna see you next time. Bye.